you start your Minecraft world and realize you're in a cave. You're low on hunger and you finished mining iron. You go and look for the nearest cows and you start slaughtering them until one of the cows drops you this enchanting golden apple. You open your inventory to see it and it has curse of vanishing X. You don't understand what's going on with with this. So, my dear viewer, today I will be hosting and teaching you how to do this using a data pack. A data pack is a thing that changes only Minecraft uh, Minecraft items and doesn't add things to keep in mind. But before that, let's install what's called also Microsoft Visual Studio, which is a application to be to code easily. Open Google Chrome as, as you see here and let's start downloading it by going to the first website. We see Visual Studio IDE and code. We go to the download uh, app and go to download preview or as you see download community Visual, uh, Visual Studio Professional or video Visual Studio Enterprise. I suggest you use the professional one because it's going to be the most simplest one. After installing it, open the application itself. You're gonna see multiple things such as Visual Studio Code Editing in Evolve and Walkthroughs. Don't mind about these so much, they're gonna help you later, but I want you to go ahead for the three uh, squares, which are the extensions. Without the extensions, you won't be able to code that easily, and that's why I'm gonna be uploading the links for every extension up in the description and uh, down in the description below now head to the uh, logo sign and go to the uh, button placed file and open and press open folder go to desktop and knee and uh, right click after you right click go to new after you go to new don't mind the other options but just press but just press uh, folder and name your folder whatever you want I'm gonna be naming my folder uh, example data pack after doing that correctly you're gonna realize what that you're just gonna have refreshed and if you did it correctly you're gonna see as well your name uh, the folder you created up now go to the new file button which is close to the uh, which is close uh, to the new folder and write pack.mc meta after doing that I create a a curly bracket at the beginning without any words right now we're gonna start nesting some codes inside them to know that this is what you're gonna do and write quotation mark back quotation mark and write and create another curly bracket after uh, after that so Minecraft knows that you're nesting this these are important this is under the pack information as you see, when you press the arrow next to the nested arrow, to the nested uh, curly bracket, it goes down. That shows that this is the main er uh, bracket. Right inside them, pack, quotation mark, pack, underscore format, and quotation mark. There are multiple numbers, such as 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. I'm going to be choosing the number 7. The number 7 means it's only for 1.17. 6 means 1.16. And four and five means 1.15, and four means 1.14, uh, and it goes as well down. Uh, after that, after you chose the number, whatever you want, remember to keep in mind the number you chose, so it could be compatible what we're doing with. After choosing the number I chose, which is seven, add the comma sign, so it could know that still there are more that we're gonna edit. And write quotation mark description. After writing description down, and after writing the word description, uh, write uh, I mean, I place two dots on each other and open quotation mark. And you're gonna realize they are red. You're gonna ask why they are red. The main reason they are red because they are the one. They won't affect the code. They are just description. They are just explaining what is this. So I'm gonna write in my description, this is my new uh, data pack. After doing that, we successfully finished pack.mc meta. Now we press, we go to the new folder sign, which is next, uh, close to the refresh and write data. So Minecraft knows that we're dealing with data. We're not dealing with anything, we're dealing with your data Minecraft. After that, we create another folder next to that 
uh, thing and write Minecraft inside it. So they could know that we're dealing with Minecraft data. Not for example Fortnite data. No, that's why they wrote data dash Minecraft. So they could know what we are dealing with. After that we place another we place we or we create another folder named as loot tables. Later on I'm gonna teach you how to create your custom recipes uh, in this place and how to change the loot tables but until now write loot underscore tables and that's it tables keep in mind table any mistake could just destroy your folder and write inside the loot tables entities so they could know that they were not dealing with chess generation or any uh any block uh, drop we're dealing with entities and after you place the uh, after you created your folder which is named as entities Create another create a file this time named as cow.json. If you did that correctly, you're gonna see curly brackets again and next to it to the word. Now, I need you to open Google Chrome again, and this time I want you to write MC Stacker in the re in the search bar. MC Stacker is one of the best websites I usually use for coding. As you see, we have dash boss bar, we have save command, clipboard, import settings, versions, we, and this MC Stackers only work unfortunately for Java edition. We're gonna be using today the loot tables, as I said. We're changing the cow loot table. Now, we go to the loot table type and you're gonna see unset, add pool, and NBT mode. We go to the loot table type and we change it to entity. After that, we go to add pool. And you're gonna see roles, weight, quality, entry, and the codes above. Roles are how much things are gonna get dropped from the mob. For example, if you kill a cow, it usually drops you what one item. And I want that to happen. Uh, bonus rolls are like a chance, a lucky chance, if it will drop uh, a leather with it. And that why, when we add entry, you're gonna see we have a weight of 100% and the item itself and the quality forget about the quality right now and set attributes uh, the weight is the chances of this item to be dropped so rolls is how many items are gonna get confirmed to be dropped the weight is the chances of this item to be dropped see they are building blocks on each other so if you chose for example one uh, the chances of this being dropped only one however it's still 100% because we haven't added another entry to have the same thing to change the chances as you see we have weight now in the other entry with a 50 50 on each side there is a 50 chance this item to be dropped and the other item to be dropped using the filter section i throw totem of the undying because i wanted to change it we have name lore and count custom model leave everything except count and enchantments i'm gonna add this time only one item and if you place in the enchantment gillet only, you're gonna realize nothing appears. And if you go to uh, show all, you're gonna see all the enchants in Minecraft appearing. And I'm gonna this time be using infinity. Uh, of course, not a reference to any meme. Uh, if you do that, you're gonna realize why Glenn didn't show. Because Glenn actually shows what can be placed on the item. And again, we go to the another entry below, and we change, and I want to add enchanted golden apple. After uh, uh, writing it in the filter section, we could see count, custom model, custom tags, etc. Again, we need only one, and we, if we go to the enchantment, we go to let only, you see nothing. Or well, press show only, all, and you're gonna see everything again. This time we're going to a uh, vanishing curse, because... For fun, I seriously don't know why, but I like to do that. I want the item dis to disappear if you die. And after you do that, you're gonna realize that you finished the loot table. Congratulations, you finished the loot table now. As you see, we have the code disable input and refresh and copy. If you go to refresh, it's gonna refresh the codes if a change occurred before copying. So copy and paste it down into Microsoft Visual Studio. You gotta realize it's still open on cow.json. Don't close it or something. Just go control V or copy paste it and control C to save the file and assure this is gonna work.
and congratulations, you did your own custom cow uh, drop. After that, close Microsoft Visual Studio, close Microsoft Visual Studio, and assure that you copy the folder, which is your data pack name. Mine was example data pack. So I Ctrl C copy it multiple times and decided to open Windows R. Windows R allow you to run to use the run application. It is really useful and to place your file to place the data pack you want to add, all you have to do is just write uh, a percent sign percent sign app data and percent sign again and if you press ok it's gonna open you what's called app data or roaming you're gonna see a minecraft uh, a Mati launcher adobe many things go to my dot minecraft after you go to dot minecraft go to saves saves are words in other words you're gonna see every word you have like new word um my lonely word example word go to your word that you want to edit and go to something called data packs. Control V the file that you want to test and remove every data pack that you used to have. After doing this, you're gonna assure that this data pack is the only one that's gonna function. Go to the word again, launch the word, and wait until the word starts launching. After doing that, we're gonna start killing a cow. Here. Killing, I'm trying to kill the cow, as you see, and I start smacking it with my sword, and it dropped me this. So this assures that this will work, this did work actually, and has everything. Now if I go attack another sh cow, you're gonna realize what? That's gonna drop me a totem of the undying, and if you check, it has infinity. Thank you so much for watching to the end. I hope this helped you and and I hope you like it. Never forget to like and subscribe. Thank you so much and see you in the next video. Goodbye.